The Joker is famous for his many plans and schemes that turn the ideologies of many heroes on their heads and expose deep and dark truths to them that fundamentally alter their views on themselves and the world. And sometimes he just makes them look like fools. I'm Adam Andrews with Top 10 Nerd, and this is the top 10 times Joker has embarrassed superheroes. Number 10, the Teen Titans. In a Titans East special, the Joker teams up with Bizarro to help him kidnap a famous singer. When the Teen Titans show up to save her, the Joker sends Bizarro after Starfire, Cyborg, and Wonder Girl, while he stays and holds the hostage at gunpoint, leaving only Kid Flash, Robin, and Raven to face him. Should be an easy win still, but Kid Flash is able to snatch the Joker's gun away along with the hostage, but the gun is actually a bomb, which goes off incapacitating Kid Flash. Raven then makes the Joker's worst nightmares appear before him in his mind, which is actually useless when it turns out that he actually finds his nightmares to be funny. Once the Titans are able to use blue kryptonite to cripple Bizarro though, the entire team is able to focus on the Joker. For a moment there, he showed how he could have pretty easily won that encounter. Number nine, Brave and the Bold. Seeing how the Joker has no powers of any kind other than his insanity and a knack for causing chaos, he seems to be able to go after and defeat some pretty impressive people. In an episode of the cartoon show The Brave and the Bold, the Joker decides to go after none other than Wonder Woman and her home of Themyscira. He disguises himself as an Amazon warrior and participates in gladiatorial games and contests in front of the queen and the princess. He kind of impossibly defeats the rest of the competitors with his knockout gas before approaching Diana herself. After a scuffle involving rubber chickens, comically large bugs, and playing cards ensues, Joker is actually able to somehow knock out Wonder Woman with gas from his flower. Number eight, Jeepers Creepers. Joker and the Creeper, who is a very unknown and pretty strange Gotham-based hero, come to blows in 1975's Joker number three. When the Joker frames Jack Ryder for a robbery, the Creeper hunts the clown down and tries to confront him. After a series of body blows, he knocks the clown to the ground, seemingly defeated. But of course, in a very Joker-esque moment, his coattails shoot out as a projectile and knock the creeper off guard, allowing the Joker to gain the upper hand and choke the creeper into unconsciousness. Now, the creeper has superhuman strength and agility, so it's, it's pretty embarrassing to get knocked out by a regular human lunatic, I'd say. Hello there, nerds. Just wanna quickly pause here to say thanks for watching. Your support and affection really helps us to continue to pump out videos for you guys to enjoy. Give up the likes and subscribes. Number seven, Batman White Knight. Speaking of making Batman look bad, in Batman White Knight, Joker actually becomes the hero, um, sort of. Joker is cured of his mental illness in a violent forced ingestion of a drug by Batman, which causes doubt in Batman within the minds of the public. Joker then goes on a mission to basically prove that Batman is addicted to violence. Instead of his usual mad and murderous ways though, Joker instead becomes a city official and fights against vigilante justice. His methods are still pretty sinister, but he really gets close to showing just how messed up Bruce is. And the embarrassment of this ultimately leads to Bruce wanting to change his ways. Number six, death of the family. This isn't the death in the family story that sees Joker killing Jason Todd, but the death of the family story actually ends up seeing Joker going after every member of the Batman's family, threatening to take them all out. Spoiler warning, I'm about to reveal the ending of the story, so if you wanna read it, which you should, skip to the next segment. Okay, ready? So basically, after kidnapping the whole Bat family, Joker sits them all at a dinner table and reveals that their meals are actually the cut off skin from their faces. Jeez! Don't worry, after he severely emotionally cripples Batman by this action, it's all just a big game. Number five, a little extra twist. The Dark Knight Returns is an incredible story that is set in the future with a Joker who is bored out of his mind and an old retired Batman who no longer wants to play Joker's games. Cornering one another in a tunnel of love, Batman loses control and snaps Joker's neck, paralyzing him, but importantly, not killing him. Joker is rather put out about this though and seeing an opportunity to completely ruin the Dark Knight's reputation, Joker uses the last bit of his strength to jerk his body enough to crack his own neck, killing himself so that the Gotham public will think that Batman murdered him in cold blood, which actually works and leads to another famous battle between Batman and Superman. Joker's really good at making Batman look bad. Number four, Joker War. In Joker War, the Joker has managed to not only take Bruce Wayne's weapons and technology, 
but even all of his wealth. And he took over Gotham with even the support of the city. That all on its own should be embarrassing enough to make this list. But then you add the fact that he actually stole and wore a bat suit. And not just any old suit either. This one was supposed to eventually symbolize a Batman that had become the White Knight of Gotham. Joker took this suit and Jokerfied it, completely turning the entire point of the suit on its head. Number three, defeating Aquaman underwater. Did you know that even underwater, Aquaman was defeated by the Joker? Not one on one, mind you, but it's the Joker. That isn't really his forte anyways. In Legends of the DC Universe number 26 and number 27, Joker heads to Atlantis to get away from Batman. Even though Aquaman knows what Joker is up to, the Joker is still able to convince the people of Atlantis that he is the king of the surface world and that he can help them with finding a cure for the infected fish that they have. He even manages to get a scientist to fall in love with him. Even his own people didn't believe in Aquaman. Yikes. Number two, the Batman who laughs. Even when Batman wins, he loses. In an alternate universe where Batman kills the Joker, the Joker gets the final laugh when a toxin is released that turns Batman into an evil Joker version of himself. All of the insanity of the Joker matched up with all the intelligence of Bruce Wayne. The Batman who laughs becomes a huge threat to the entire DC universe. He has a bunch of hound-like evil Joker toxin robins on chains too. He is absolutely nuts. It's just so fitting that when Batman is actually pushed to the point of finally killing the Joker, the Joker pulls one last joke where he still wins. Number one, Emperor Joker. In the Emperor Joker storyline, the Joker ends up stealing the multi-dimensional powers of the Superman villain, Mr. Mixelpidale, and he basically becomes a trickster god creating a world where heroes and villains switch roles, where he constantly kills Batman over and over and over again. He makes Flash obese and slow, and he even eats China. Yeah, it's true. The sheer amount of power he wields even gets Darkseid to back down without a fight even taking place. Just a few threatening phrases, that he'd make an excellent lawn jockey for Joker's secret hideout, or that he'd make a great hood ornament. That, plus a show of power, and Darkseid was like, nah, I'm, I'm I'm good, I'm good. Joker put all the heroes to shame. The only way he could lose was for the universe to end up being destroyed. All right, nerds, that's all I got for you today. Let me know down below what you thought. I've been Adam Andrews, this has been Top 10 Nerd. Until next time, peace out, nerds. But the gun is actually a b which goes off. Incapa incapacitating, okay, I'm gonna go over here. Number eight, Jeepers Creepers. In Batman White Knight, Jacker, Jacker? Pfft. That would be weird. Um, <laughs> don't worry though. After he severely emotionally cripples Batman by his, uh, what? Oh.